All right, so let's start sewing. Let me just slide that out of the way first. Grab whatever is the solid color for your background and your felt, and we're gonna pin those together. So just lay them on top of each other, grab a few of these dressmaking pins, and you want to probably put just uh, three or four pins. Uh, I'm just gonna go in and out. Yeah, let's just do one in each corner, that'll be nice. Just we don't want the fabrics to move on each other, so we pin them just to hold them in place as we sew. Once you start sewing, you just remove the pins. This will hold it in place while we get beat, while we start here. Okay, so that is actually ready to go. So now let's talk about the sewing machine. Okay, so let's start sewing. We have our fabric. Once again, it's been pinned uh, to the two pieces. We're just sewing the, the back part, the, the solid color. We still have our top part here. It's going to be sewed later. So. Uh, so let's get ready to go here. I'm going to just open up the top if it's not already open. Uh, that shows us uh, the spool of thread that's up there. I'm going to turn on the power, which is over where the power cord connects to the sewing machine. It lights up. We have a screen here. We have lots of controls. Let's not mess with any of that. Uh, that's just more for advanced type of users. And we'll get to it, but just not on level one. Okay, a couple of parts you need to know about um, is that uh, for a sewing machine to work, it... Um, it's, it's a really cool piece of technology because we used to just have to hand sew everything. But a sewing machine works by having two sources of thread, one at the top, one underneath, and the machine loops those together as it's going forward and it sews from the top and the bottom at the same time. Really cool technology. So, uh, and it just changed the industrial revolution being able to use sewing machines. So, uh, that's what we have here. We have a spool of thread up here, in this case it's black. We have a bobbin of thread down here. It's also black, so we have matching thread going in the bottom and the top. That's all you need to worry about for now. Later on in the higher levels, we'll show you how to change the thread out and how to load the thread onto the bobbin, but you just need to know that. With the light on, you should be able to see in there, it should have plenty of bobbin thread on it. If it runs low on bobbin thread, it will just stop and it'll give you an error message on the screen. Just come and get me and I'll help you with that. Okay, so we're just going to do a simple straight st stitch for our first project, so just make sure we're on program uh, number one over here on the screen. Press one. It was already on it, but just press it just to make sure. And then the two buttons you need to worry about are these two here. This is the start-stop button, and this is the rewind button, okay? Uh, for the beginning, we're just going to use start-stop, and then I'll teach you about the rewind button uh, in just a few moments. Okay, so uh, let's just go ahead and place our uh, fabric underneath the needle here. Uh, right, what's down here is called the shoe. And if the shoe is down, the lever for it, if, there's a window here in the sewing machine, and at the top of that window is the little, uh, it's like white, yeah, little white lever control, and that raises and lowers the shoe. If it's down, just go ahead and raise it up so you can get your thread, your, sorry, your fabric underneath the shoe, and then what, do what's called dropping the shoe. Now I've dropped the shoe on there, sewing machines ready to work. Okay, so shoe is on there. I have my, my uh, fabric ready to go. It's been pinned together because it'd be loose if I didn't have it, and I'm going to start sewing. So I'm going to press the start button, and it just starts to slowly sew. Now as it's sewing, I'm going to just go ahead and just slightly start to change the direction here, just so it starts to make a weird little line as I work my way over to the other side. I'm going to maybe loop around here, okay, and then I'm getting closer to the edge, I'm just going to press stop, okay, there we go. Now the sewing machine should automatically raise the needle so it's out of the thread. If it ever messes up and it leaves it in there, there is a wheel on the back of the sewing machine and you can turn that wheel and that will raise the needle up and down. It should automatically raise the needle, which it has in this case. I'm going to lift the shoe and I'm going to then pull the fabric out from underneath. The two threads are attached and I can just grab that around the back here as a little built-in knife. Cut that. You always want to leave about 15 centimeters of thread. Don't cut it too short or it'll suck that thread back up into the machine and then we have to re-thread the machine. All right, so then there you can see what I've done my first round here, okay? So I've made just that weird shape. That's why we call it an ugly pillow because you're kind of getting used to uh, using the sewing machine. I can now, now that I have those stitches on there, I can take out the pins, put those back in the pin jar here, because now the two pieces of fabric are together. They're not going to go anywhere, they're not going to shift anywhere. So now let's do, I'm going to go the other corner and start there and then do another uh, um, just ugly design here. Drop the shoe, I'm sorry, insert the fabric, drop the shoe, 
press the start button, and then with my hands here, I start to just redirect where that's going. And I'm gonna cross over the other line here and work my way around down over to here and get close to the edge and press stop. The needle raises just fine. Lift the shoe, pull it out towards me, grab both pieces of the thread, bring them around the side and cut them on the little knife. And I'm just going to keep repeating that. So now I've got those, so I've got, I've kind of gone from corner to corner, kind of. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do, maybe for one of them, try to do a straight line as best you can. Let me just put, I've got like a little crease on my fabric. I'm gonna try to follow that, that line here. So I'm gonna drop the shoe right there, press the start button. If something ever goes wrong, of course, just press the stop button. Sometimes the machine can foul up and it gets the thread everywhere and it gets really ugly. Okay, I'm getting close to the edge and I press the stop button, raises the needle. Okay, let's see how I did. So that's how it's coming so far. There's my straight line. See, I did a straight line across there. So practice a straight line, practice some curvy lines. Just do, I, I wanna see at least 10 on there. So uh, that's three. Now 10's a lot, isn't it? Let's do, let's do six, at least six. Let's go with six, okay? Uh, and I'll, when I see you in the next video, I will have my six lines done. So just go ahead and have fun with this. Try to just make as wavy as possible. Try some straight ones. Uh, just really learn how to move the fabric in relation to the machine so you can actually drive the sewing. That's what we're learning how to do here, okay? Have fun.